So for today, we're going to be looking at Space Marine 2. This is not the game I thought I was going to be covering first time for my channel because obviously this is the fashion channel, but I decided to do this one just because it's new. I'm enjoying the game. I'm going to be playing this game a lot because the PvP is going to be super fun. At least I hope so because I haven't found a match yet, but I'm super excited for it just because again, um, I'm a huge Space Marine fan or specifically Warhammer fan. I have my own army. Technically, I haven't finished it yet because it's, it's a like basically think of them as a Mayan space marine so basically like for example space wolves are basically Vikings in space mine will be Mayans in space so that's my own army I'm still trying to figure out like the culture the name the symbols and stuff like that but I'm having a lot of fun I've been doing this since I think COVID COVID is the, the time when I was like all right I'll, I'll I'm go I'm jumping into getting at the actual minis so we're gonna be looking at the customization of this because there should be heavy customization i've already technically made this video but i didn't like how that one came out so we're going to look at it again and this time i'm going to show you the things i think are important so first and foremost we're going to be looking at the pvp stuff specifically because the pvp stuff shows everything and the actually i can just so there is a co-op mode well technically there's two modes that are just pve one of them is the campaign which you can only change your skin not pieces and the co-op mode shows the pvp pve stuff so operations uh this would be able to give you a bunch of cool stuff if you just keep playing it um campaign obviously is the story and then eternal war is the pvp which is what we're on right now so the reason I'm in PvP is because it shows you everything. It shows you the PvP stuff and it shows you the PvE stuff as well because, uh, yeah, I didn't think we were going to have PvP stuff, specifically like uh, enemy faction stuff, which surprised me, but let's get into it. So we're going to be looking at Tactical, Assault, Vanguard, Bulwark, Sniper, and then Heavy, which is really, really cool. So Edit Armor, you guys will see immediately you can have your helmet off. I think it's kind of dumb to ha have your helmet off. We have Mastercrafted. Achieve victory in seven missions in operation mode or matches in eternal well internal war mode to unlock. Some of that line? Okay. So the really cool thing is the fact that it's literally just play the game. There isn't anything that you have to buy so far, at least from what I can see, aside from the skin that you can get for Titus. I think that's the only thing you can buy right now. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah. A lot of these are just going to be complete uh, X number of missions in operation mode or mat or matches in internal mode, internal war mode, which is really cool because it's going to be really cool to unlock this. The other really cool thing is the fact that once you unlock pieces, you can actually customize each piece, which is awesome. So like, let's say, for example, you really like this one, but you don't like the other side of this one. You can just switch it out for something else, which is really, really cool because I'm definitely going to be doing this like this game is just going to get better overall when it comes to like customizing because they're going to be selling or unlocking like different pieces there also is a season pass which hopefully they, get, they can start giving you some really cool things but the one thing the one gripe i had was i really hope that they have a more specific chapter stuff because this is very generic like space marine stuff um i want to see more like specific space like chapter stuff so for example if you play as a, a space wolf space wolves are all about being vikings so that means a lot of wolf pelts a lot of wolf skull stuff anything with a wolf is going to be there um a lot of hides as well like like a like a blade that has a hide a uh, sheath and just stuff like that like Anything you think a, a Viking would have, a space wolf would have. Same thing for the salamanders. They would have something that's like very draconic in nature. So a lot of dragon pelts, a lot of like bones as well, draconic bones. And they're also like high, like the best blacksmiths in the Imperium. So they would have a lot of like gold as well. A lot of like shit that looks hard to make. So that's like my only issue is just right now, like it looks so bare bones, like a lot of the things that are in the game is just kind of like yeah like this is definitely something like a basic bitch uh space marine would have it's nothing too crazy that's this one's really cool yeah like i just 
that's like my only thing. I know they're going to probably in the future give us more stuff. But again, I just... That's like my only like nitpick. It's just I want more Space Marine stuff. Specifically like chapter based. Like I would love to see uh, the Dark Angels have their night stuff. That would be so cool. Or the other cool thing would be to give us more classes. Specifically like... Oh... Uh, Maybe if within the heavy thing, you can actually give us like terminators or within the sniper stuff, you can give us another one like stuff like that would be really cool. Um, but let's go back to this one. So I'm going to show you like all of it. I really wish it let me stay here and turn my character because it doesn't do that. Unfortunately, um, I think the best one for sure is this one, obviously, but I like this one a lot just because of the uh, the toga. I think that's super cool. This one also super dope. And again, the fact that we can customize just different pieces is amazing. This is going to be really fun. The other really cool thing is if we go to Astartes chapter, I already bought all this stuff for Salamanders. They're my favorite chapter aside from Space Wolves. I am a Space Wolves fan as well. But if I'm being honest, I really like a lot of the space or the chapters. I think that all of the chapters have like really cool things. Um, but I would definitely say Salamanders and Space Wolves are the ones that I was like, I would collect these um and yeah, there's a lot there's a lot of chapters here so like if you like a certain chapter it, what's even better is like you can theoretically like theoretically you can make your own chapter here especially if you, you you reuse a symbol that one of these chapters uses i would love it if they gave us the option to just uh make our own symbol i think that would be really cool because i yeah like i would probably use this one for my space uh yeah, that one would probably be it. I'd probably use this one for my space, uh, space Mayans, that symbol, the Iron Hounds, because it looks pretty close to like a Jaguar, which is probably what the symbol is going to be. But let's, I'm going to look at all the, all the chapter or all of this first and, or these like the loyalist stuff. And then we'll look at the heretic stuff because that's uh, unfortunately a little disappointing, but yeah, we'll get to that when we get to that um heraldry we'll get we'll get to that at the end as well i want to look at the classes first so then we have assault which i think look really cool i actually think they play like a lot of fun they're really really fun so first one's gonna be some yeah looks pretty cool i think the skulls in the back are pretty metal there's gonna be a lot of skulls in in this game so just be aware a lot of chains in this one Yeah, I, I really like these. <clears throat> I don't, uh, yeah, like it's not bad by any means. I just wish, oh, there's eagles back there. That's pretty cool. All right. Yeah. Pretty metal. I actually really like the assault, <laughs> the assault intercessors. I think they're called in, in the, uh, it's funny that they didn't use the names, like the actual names, um, because <laughs> yeah it's super weird because tacticals tacticals kind of makes sense that's their old name but these would be intercessors assault these would be assault intercessors the vanguard would be um oh god i don't even i'm blanking on their name right now but it depends because uh some of their skins also is another unit but they still have the phobos armor bulwark would be uh the veterans slash um blade guard i think they're called snipers i think that I don't remember what their like actual name is, but yeah, I've been wanting to buy their models for a while. And then these fucks are my favorite. They're, the armor is so cool. Um, but let's get back to the salt. So yeah, I'm super excited to customize some of these fucks because again, it's really cool. Like I really appreciate that they gave us so much cool things. And when it comes to DLC, that's it's a little weird. This That's part of her heraldry, which we will look at later, but this is the one I want because <clears throat> uh it's the lieutenant helmet and yeah it's cool as fuck to be fair I'm probably just gonna color the helmet some other color because i think that's captains if i remember correctly uh pauldrons yeah it's it's super cool dog like i was expecting some customization i wasn't expecting this this depth of customization to be honest and I really hope the packs that they sell give us the option to really do this because if it's just skins and I kind of lose interest because you can't really do a lot with skins and call it fashion like me personally. Yeah, 
Yeah, this looks cool. I'm just really happy we have like a really good Warhammer game again. Like to be fair, it's not like we've never had one. We have a lot, like a few of them, but <sighs> we have we have a lot more bad ones as well. Oh my God, dude, it's so cool. Like for real. I'm honestly surprised that they didn't add more stuff in the heraldry when it comes to like items like this. It's only helmets that they put in the heraldry, which is very unfortunate. And again, I will explain what the heraldry is um, after we're done looking at all of this. And I will probably have timestamps so that way you guys, if you guys get bored of looking at all of these or you want to look at a specific one, you can just go to that because I'm a big believer in being able to just give your viewers the choice to view something if they don't want to. Um, I'm also very appreciative that they didn't give you like perfect armor off the rip because uh, that would have been annoying. Like you're a space marine, your shit should should look weathered and looked like it. Should, yeah, it should look like it's been used, not like oh it's perfect, because that's something that pisses me off. Then we go to Vanguard, which I think they're really cool. I think the Phobos armor is super dope. Like, it's super cool. And <clears throat> the only thing that I find annoying is, man, this looks so cool. Not, not annoying, mind you. No, it's not annoying. Um, I should probably choose my words a little bit better. So, I really wish this helmet that they that he has on is part of another like model type. Not model type, but you have to buy another one. Oh, he has two pauldrons on that one. Oh wow. Oh, he has two pauldrons on a few of them. Wait, no, he doesn't. What? Uh, okay, so. For those of you who are like, what's wrong? It's like, this is supposed to be a little. This is supposed to be a little bit what smaller? No, bigger. So it's not supposed to look like two pauldrons. At least in the models, that's how it looks. Like the pauldron looks a lot bigger than this piece right here. But I guess I don't know. Either way, it looks really cool. I'm really, I really like this one a lot. For helmets, it's the same thing. Yeah, so it's like. It's a little weird seeing this helmet on this armor. Yeah, I fuck with this. I love this armor. This armor is, I mean, people are going to be like, oh, it's so edgy. It's like, yeah, it's kind of the point of Warhammer. It's like the super edgiest shit in the world, but it looks really, really cool. Then pauldrons. I mean, to be fair, we don't have to see all these considering we already saw them, but I really like to see them up close. And again, if you don't like the ultramarines, which granted, I think like 80% of people don't like ultramarines, then you can switch out the insignia, which is really cool. I'm just going to keep it so that way it's standard for everyone. This one's cool. I, I don't know which one I like more. I think I like this one a little bit more. That ceremonial dagger there makes me laugh. Yeah, I cannot wait to start unlocking some of these pieces so that way I can start really making a set look cool as shit, bro. Because that's we're definitely going to be covering this game on the channel. Um, yeah, it's funny because I don't remember... I don't remember these assholes having these pieces in the back. This is definitely a uh, the other model type, not this fucker. Well, I don't know. It's hard to explain um oh, we already looked at that oop we already looked at that uh gauntlets i would probably do this one or these two yeah how about this one so i'm just give you yeah just a gold thing i think the I was about to say, I think this one's the best one, but fuck, this one looks metal, bro. You got bullets there. Hmm. Okay. Then the Greaves. Hmm. Death Watch. You could make Death Watch shit if you really wanted to. And then last one, Greaves. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I think my biggest, like, not complaint, but the biggest thing I can just tell them is I want more stuff, like a lot more stuff. 
So yeah, these are Blade Guard, bro. This is super cool. Um, I love a lot of these, bro. I'll be honest with you. These are so fucking cool. Like, this one's amazing. I think this one's the best one. And for sure, I'm, you're going to see a lot of people with this one. Um, specifically, uh, what, are, what are their fucking names? Oh, my God. Um, I'm blanking. I promise you, I am into 40K. Um, uh, Dark Angels. There we go. Dark Angels are going to be using this one heavily, bro. Like, all of these are super dope. Funnily enough, I've seen, like, this this model is almost a one-to-one -one of a model we got in, um, oh my god, um, Indomitus, which I have that box set, which is why I'm like, this is funny considering I have this fucker. And then this one, they give you a Praetorian helmet. At least I think it's called a Praetorian helmet, specifically the, Praetor the Ultramarine Praetorian. Um, they could be another name, but I'm pretty sure that's what their name is. Now let's go see them individually. I love this helmet. This helmet is super dope. Yeah, these helmets are fucking awesome. I would probably have this one. I think this one is the coolest one. The only issue I have with it is it doesn't look good with anything other than a knight, like a knightly look. So Dark Angels, this is your helmet because it looks weird with pretty much almost everyone else, personally. Uh, pauldrons. Yeah, this one looks really cool. Fun the funny, funny thing is they're using um, like Gravis pauldrons, which I always found funny. Well, I think they're, they're a little smaller than Gravis, but I'm specifically talking about this right here. That reminds me of, of uh, their pauldrons, which we'll look at the Gravis armor later. I think this one is fucking metal honor, bro. Then the breastplate, which is going to have the coolest pieces, bro. I legitimately will probably have this one for my own just because it looks really cool. Again, um, I'm going to try to make my own um, my own faction or my own chapter in the game. But this one's going to be a rough one because anything I choose is just going to look like a knight. Like this one almost looks like a priest. So that's why I'm like fucking with this one heavily. But I don't want anything with this like that shield there. Because that's not, that's the furthest thing from a Mayan, in my opinion. Um, one thing is, like, the, like the, the backpacks are kind of boring, bro. I wish there was, like, a little bit more, like, design. War gear, war, yeah, the shield. It's really funny, because this is not this one. No. I think, it, is, it, is it this one that's from the Indomitus set? It's more specifically the, uh... Like the captain that's using it. I'm not captain, but the, uh, the fucking, the blade guard, I think. I don't know. Either way, it's super funny to like, look at these characters with shit that I'm like, bro, like that's so cool. The fact that you can make death watch as well is really cool as well. I'm definitely going to see some people rocking death watch, which is going to be super fun. I really want to play the PVP so that way I can just see that shit to be fair uh, sorry I just had a thought all right so let's go to snipers this one's gonna be really cool this is my favorite this one's also cool so funnily enough I don't think this one's the best one I think this one for sure is the best one um, not saying this is bad. It looks really cool. I just think this one's better. So let's go over here real quick. Helmet. I hope that they let us put the goggles down. That'd be really cool. I don't think they will, but I could hope. Yeah. Yeah. This pauldron DLC. Hmm. Wonder where you get this DLC from. Wait. I own that? How the fuck do I own this? Well, I'm not gonna put it on. But I'm now curious as, ha as to how I have that. I would probably put this one. Probably. 
backpacks. Oh, the thing doesn't change. That's interesting. The the tarp doesn't change. I'd probably do this one. I don't know what the, the reason for the chains are for, but chains are cool. War gear. <clears throat> oh, so the tarp changes depending on the cloak. That's actually cool as fuck. I like this one. Not that I don't like this one, but actually this would probably be good for like my, my Mayan space marines just because uh, my Mayans will be in a jungle. So it makes sense for them to have this, the ghillie suit. Oh, wow. So it goes full, like, okay. Oh, that's really, really cool. Okay. I fuck with that. I wonder how the interaction with the, this war gear will be with the pauldrons. Like, that's something I would like to see. I would probably do the, the Mark X Phobos. Yeah, this one. Or this one. No, probably this one. Uh, Bauntlets this one for sure that's cool so I can just imagine him pulling the bl the bullets out after he's used one super extra but I mean it's 40k dog kind of has to be extra and then the last greaves which almost feel like the same from the other dudes probably get this one I think we're on to the last one now apologies this has been longer than most videos I make in Destiny 2, but we're looking at new stuff now, so. This is my one of my favorite armors. I think it looks cool as fuck. I swear to God, that chest piece is amazing, bro. Alright, let's look at the last pieces for this class, and then we'll uh, hop on to the other things that you guys will probably be really interested in. Wow, these all suck expecting a little bit more pauldrons this one's cool oh, this one's better Imperium nah this one's cool I like this one a lot this one is also cool my only gripe is like oh, I guess he can turn it barely like you guys will see right here this one's covering the whole thing. This one doesn't cover it, so he has uh, actual movement in the back. To be fair, that's a dumb reason to not like something, but it's also not a dumb reason in my opinion. I, I'm surprised I have this. How did I get it? Um, I would probably get this one. <clears throat> I think it looks super cool. The, the like cloth there. I'm, I'm a sucker for that type of shit. Then breastplate. I like this one. This one reminds me of I forget what the what the models are called, but they're uh they basically have like giant arms that have like bolters or flamers attached to them. It reminds me of them fucks because of the 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 ropes. I I would honestly choose that just for the neck guard. Look at that shit, bro. It looks so cool. This one's very boring compared to this one. <laughs> The Imperium thing is cool, I guess, but dog, this one is way metal. I would choose this one for sure. Then locked. Armor part is not available. Okay. Oh, the backpack. Uh, war gear. I'd probably do this one. That being said, I'm not the biggest fan of this one, like the this part of it. Um, I like this one. This one's pretty cool. Yeah, I probably would do this one. Oh, excuse me. Uh, gauntlets. Death Watch. I can definitely see people doing like a whole Death Watch squad thing, which is going to be pretty cool. I probably will do that just to see. Yeah, this is the one. Man, dude. I would do this one. Oh my god. Especially with the chest piece, bro. That'd be super cool. And then last one. Man, the left boot is just kind of on the boring side. I'd probably do this one just because the studs on the on the foot look really cool. Oh. Either this one or that one. I don't know. Let's see. 
Um, so that's pretty much it for the classes. I, if you were to ask me like, which one are you going to play a lot? I would probably say Vanguard. Um, all of them probably. I, I like, I legitimately like a lot of them. The Vanguard's going to be super fun because they have a really fun ability, the grapple launcher. Uh, tactical is also going to be really fun. Um, I mean, they reveal enemies in selected areas. Their ability is not the greatest. That being said, it's, I mean, to be fair, it is really good because, like, you reveal enemies and you do more damage towards them. It's just, like, compared to everything else, it's kind of like a boring ability. The Salt literally makes you jump in the air and gives you a new dash. Enables enhanced dashes and powerful jumps, resulting in new combat moves, which is super fun. Vanguard gives you a, a grapple, which is really fun. Um, this one gives you, like, an AoE where you restore armor to all squad members in the area of effect, which is super cool. The sniper it makes you invisible, and then the heavy gives you a shield. So it's really cool. I've tried them all out on the. Uh, they give you like trials that you can do to better, better like familiarize your with the character. And I've gotten gold with everyone, which is really annoying. <clears throat> so. Now that we're done with all of the classes, let me know which ones you are excited to play as. I legitimately will want to play with everyone. I'm probably going to start with either the Vanguard or the Assault first. Most likely Vanguard. I really like them a lot. Um, there is skins for weapons as well, which I should probably mention. I'm probably not going to look at them. Honestly, I think the armor is the thing that I'm going to be mo mostly excited for. Because this is going to take a while. So if anything, we'll probably make it in another video. If you guys are interested in seeing that video, let me know. I'll definitely get started on it. The main thing I wanted to look at was the differences of the other enemy force. So the heretics, the Startees. This is the part where I'm like, man, that's kind of unfortunate. Um, so we're going to go with the base look. The one that the game told like was like this is what you what you're gonna start with uh, which is not this one actually it's this one so yeah um there's not a lot you can customize if any you there is no customizing so this is what you get which is very unfortunate i really hope they have a heretics uh, pack so that way we can add more to it because you can't change the colors so like for example if you want to be nurgle or death guard you can do this one Granted, it doesn't look very Nurgle-y to me. Even worse for, like, Night Lords or the Iron Hands. Like, World Eaters, I, I, I could see it, I guess. Um, maybe? Death Guard, definitely not, though. It just, it looks too clean. And I know you're thinking, like, what do you mean too clean? Like, it's super dirty. No, like, I'm talking like there is no... Actually, I can show you what I mean. I think it's Bulwark. Um, this. This is a death knight. You can see pus coming out, like some disease and shit. This is a death guard, bro. So this is what I'm talking about. Like you can change the colors, but it's not gonna be death guard. Um, so yeah, we looked at that. Salt, let's look at salt, which is, <sighs> it makes sense. I'm not saying it doesn't make sense. It definitely like the Raptors for sure, but I'm just like, this looks fucking weird. Look at this shit. It looks weird, bro. And they even gave us custom armor set, which there is no armor set. There is no custom stuff you couldn't, you can do. This is weird because then you can see like the blue lightning, this, the wings, like this is all wrong. So it's just better to just use the Night Lords. So if you're if you're like a a, a Chaos Space Marine fan, this is gonna feel weird. Because let me show you. Um, yeah, yeah, Vanguard. This is. For sure, world eaters, uh, specifically fucking <sighs> blood for the blood god, skull for the skull throne shit. Yeah, them fucks. Like it looks, it looks cool. Like obviously, because this is their helmet. Like all of this shit makes sense. Then you do this and say like, it's weird. This is weird. This is all weird. No, stop it. The like, death card. It's I don't know. I just I I wish they had armor. Well, I guess I understand because it's PvP. They don't know if PvP is gonna do well. They definitely know PvE and the P in the like the other command shit is gonna do well. But so I understand it. I hope they have a a pack of just heretic Astarte stuff, which I don't find it weird that they call it that. But the Chaos Space Marines, I really hope they have a pack for that, so that way we can customize it a little bit more because it just feels weird. Um, this one makes a lot of sense. Like definitely they are the ones that would be invisible and shit that being said again feels weird having world eater skin 
with this type of armor because that's just not how that goes. So yeah, that's like this, this is my biggest issue with just this is just the fact that it's weird. This one, I don't even remember who they were. Yeah, this one is a, uh, yeah. I think what well, Iron Hands or fucking whatever their name is. Yeah, Iron Warriors. Yeah, Iron Hands is the, the good ones, my bad. I, I, to be fair, I get Iron Hands and Iron Warriors confused all the time. Um. Yeah, this is a f unfortunate because I don't really like the Iron Warriors personally. I don't really give a shit about them. Um, yeah, like for me, like if you were to ask me like what Chaos Space Marine chapter do you like? I like Death Guard. Death Guard are my favorite. They are the ones that I play. They are the ones that I collect. So yeah, it would be either Death Guard or Alpha Legion. I think they're fucking hilarious and they're actually pretty cool. But like Black Legion also would be in there just because I do find it metal as fuck that they don't align themselves with anyone. They have everyone's power, or so that's how it is. Um, I don't I don't really care for Night Lords. I think they're a little too edgy. And a, that being said, I am tr I'm I want to buy a book from or a series I think it is that explain like their side and it looks really cool. Not their side, but it's I don't know. It's hard to explain, but it looks really cool. But that's pretty much it for the chaos space marines i think it's a little bit of a missed opportunity to do that just because it's a, yeah like i just yeah like this i would have just preferred if they gave us like a few options because it just feels weird to do this and then just have stuff like oh like maybe you don't want to do that maybe you want to do the black legion or another thing right you can't even change that wow okay so that's even worse can you change the I'm so confused now. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I definitely think it's just a very big missed opportunity to have not given us the Chaos Space Marine stuff. But again, they might uh, sell that in a PvP pack where it's like, oh, we gave you specific things. Um, I just realized the uh... wow, wait, the, the magic boys are not here. Yeah, Night Lords, Iron Warriors, Black Legion, Alpha Legion, World Eaters, Death Guard. There, there's people missing here. Wait, there's two of them. Where's the purple boys? Interesting. Okay. So there's definitely going to be... Yeah, because there's, I think, two that are missing. Maybe more. Interesting. Either way, that is pretty much it. We're going to be looking at the heraldry it doesn't really matter what class we look at so i like i said i like uh, salamanders they're my favorite um aside from the space wolves they're also my favorite but we're gonna be uh doing salamanders for myself but these are all the first foundings um i don't know why the black templars are here it's probably because they're one of the most popular ones here uh in in the game in general so them being here is just more of a like we're that popular that we're just gonna be with the first foundings which is just funny to me but this is how you unlock certain things. So, for example, Caliban Green, the emblem for Dark Angels, and then the emblem for the other side as well. Same thing for the other classes. There are or other chapters, I should say. There are some other things, like specifically, you can unlock more things, like more colors. Again, it's going to be the same thing through almost everyone. It's just like this one, you can get the quartered pattern for the armor, which is... I'm not going to collect that. I don't like that. But... You can collect other things like this and yeah it's like if you want white corax white is right here and then uh ashen gray i think the black is either this is it is it you corvus black so yeah first founding is going to be for the iron hands um white scar white and then wild rider red so this is where you would be collecting all that stuff and that also has like an armor piece so black templars armor part which just has the cross on the helmet and then you have these fucks which just give you colors most likely the alpha legion thing looks really cool oh i can actually get this now so i'm gonna get the black one and then again i i really wish collecting like all of them would give you like a bonus or something like oh you got all of these then you'll be able to collect that one thing so yeah more more stuff and then the unknown foundings, which I definitely might get this because he's, this is for the knee pad, if I remember correctly. Um, also for the knee pad. This one's exorcists. This one's blood ravens. They're super cool. I don't know why. What? Why are they? 
Why are they why are they in the unknown foundings? I'm pretty sure the Blood Ravens are from the uh from the Blood Angels. Like I'm damn fucking sure they are. And you have more stuff again. This is for the knee. For the knee again, this one. Oh, you get the Death Watch armor set for, for them. So yeah, just make sure you look at all of them because you get something from them. Death Watch armor piece again. Oh, a Death Watch piece? Yeah, for the helmet. Like, the fact that you can't get Carcaridon stuff is very disappointing because, like, there's definitely going to be people that want, like, shark bones and shark stuff in their armor because Carcaridons are that metal. Um, oh. So yeah, if you want to do a Death Watch, I'm guessing you have to get all of, or most of these. At least, like, from all of these, they all have pieces. That's pretty cool. And then Ultramarines just have their own foundings, which I find hilarious. Um, so this is where you get the Lieutenant Armor piece, which I'm just going to get right now. Alright, done. Is that Shanti? Shapti Bone? <laughs> yeah, I... The unlocking's not bad. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world because you can get shaders or colors, I should say, which is really cool. Um, I'm just going to get like planning to get one of these for my other pauldron. Uh, I'm just going to get this now because I'm going to get it later. Color pattern. Oh, for the helmet. Okay. I'll, I'll see what, what it looks like. More stuff. It's a green right there. Ultramarines. Hell, nah. I'm not going to use the ultramarine symbol at all. What is this? Brazen consoles. That's a cool thing. And that is pretty much it. So that's pretty much it for the Heldry. That's pretty much it for everything. I am super excited to start going into the game and unlocking some of this stuff. Again, a lot of the stuff you can be getting. Oh, wait. Yeah, so since you unlock, you once you buy all of the things, you can just straight up just do this. And that's pretty much it, which is pretty cool. I'm still going to be a Salamanders player, so that's going to be me personally. And yeah, we're probably going to be playing a fuck ton of this game. We're going to be covering a lot of the f fashion, <laughs> a lot of the customization in the game, because that's pretty much what I like in games, the customizing of your character. We're going to be covering that, going to be covering packs when they come out, because I, I'm like 80% sure they're going to be like throwing out packs, like customizing packs. I mean, shit, we have the Ultramarines champion, I think it's called skin that you can get for Titus but it's just a skin you can't use different pieces of it at least from what I've noticed if I'm wrong definitely let me know in the comments but let me know what you guys think I really really am excited to play this game more I'm gonna be playing the PvP the PV the uh both PvE stuff I'm currently working on the first episode I have to edit it and then after I'm done with it I'm gonna be posting it on my second channel which once that is out on the next Space Marine video that I make I'll probably just show you guys that and i'll probably put a community post on it so that way you guys are aware so yeah i'm gonna be playing this shit a lot um destiny 2 don't worry i'm not forgotten about you it's just you have nothing right now so i'm gonna wait most likely until i post out all of the content that i have for you now and then probably start posting like smaller things like like themed videos and stuff like that so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all i do apologize this video was a little bit longer than expected but i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later